Thank you so much, faculty, staff, family, friends, and fellow classmates. I, of course, can't continue without acknowledging the deep tragedy that our class experienced on our senior trip to Camp Crystal Lake, <laughs> where a mass serial killer brutally stabbed, beheaded, and or chopped up 90% of my classmates. <laughs> I'm Ashlyn McAllister, your valedictorian by default. <laughs> Many of you may be saying she doesn't deserve to be valedictorian. She doesn't deserve to be prom queen. She doesn't deserve to be the entire football team. I even see many of you mouthing, who is that? I thought she transferred after freshman year. Or, oh no, I think we're in the wrong place. No mom and dad, you're in the right place. I stand before you not as the smartest kid or the nerdiest kid, not as the prettiest or most popular, not as the super hot, mysterious guy that just moved here three months ago, and not as the jock that everyone loves just because he's black. No. All of those students were murdered mid-coitus by a man wearing a human face as a mask. I proudly stand before you as what my favorite teacher referred to as just kind of what we're working with right now. <laughs> Wikipedia defines valedictorian as a student having achieved the highest academic achievement. Who is still alive? <laughs> and that, that happens to be me. Again, my name is Ashlyn McAllister. Not to be confused with Ashlyn McCannister, whose eyes were burned out with her own curling iron while she was giving Matt McDonald a handy. <laughs> I want to share a very personal story with you. <laughs> One day, as I was walking along the beach, across the dark sky, I saw scenes from my life flash before me. And in each and every one of those scenes, I saw three sets of footprints in the sand. <laughs> one belonging to me, one belonging to my Lord, and one belonging to the flesh-faced butcher. <laughs> he walked right past me and Jesus, up to another girl who was so baby topless, while Kevin O'Malley was eating her out. <laughs> hook and stabbed her in the boob and it reached down into Kevin's mouth and he dragged them both into the lake. But it's a true story. I watched it happen. That was Gabrielle Valentine, our head cheerleader, may she and Kevin rest in peace. At this time, at this time, I would like to invite the Bleak Club, who's going to sing a beautiful tribute to our fallen classmates. They will be accompanied by the jazz band and the lyrical dance team. Those doors, 
Don't be afraid. I mean, sure, I've been afraid before. I mean, was I afraid up at Camp Crystal Lake when I decided to make s'mores all by myself in the middle of the night? Was I afraid when the flesh-faced butcher approached me, looked me up and down, and said, <laughs> and then walked away? Was I scared then? Yeah, a little, but mostly it really hurt my feelings. <laughs> but you know what? I am still here. We are still here. Okay, I am still here. <laughs> the best of what's left of the class of 2019. Ashlyn McAllister. <laughs>